Hey Stella, thanks very much for agreeing to talk to us today. We spoke to Muda um, last year in Tunisia when you first grouped and became tandems um, with this particular um, tandem scheme. I was wondering if you could tell us a bit more about the, this, what you're going to put on today and tomorrow for the final event in Berlin. stories. It was important for us to find the voices of people that you usually don't find in the media or even in the internet. So we did a lot of interviews, we asked questions, we asked people to write about situations they experienced or they knew. And we collected a lot of film material, sound, all sorts of things that we put together to try to describe the state of the world. Not as a statement, I mean more as something that we would like to And where else are you putting this on the table, so to speak? Are you put, are you showing this anywhere except in Berlin? Yes, uh, we will go on. I mean, because this is a state of the art, uh, like one first step of the project, you know. And anyway, the situation is changing every day, so we will stick to this subject and we will work in the rural area because this is also where one of the partners is. Um, it's a collaboration between Eti Jahat, independent culture of da from Damascus and Kitev, Kultur im Turm from Oberhausen in West Germany. So we will go on working there and show it uh, yeah, in the entire rural area plus in Cologne and then hopefully someday in Syria or the Arab region. And what was it like working with Muda, who's um still currently based in Damascus, I believe. Yes. What was that like? Because the whole tandem um, approach is about how to work with a different, a different kind of person, a different kind of culture, but this is a fairly extreme um, difference. Yes. It was great. I mean, that might sound a bit strange as I'm, I'm sitting in Germany with my coffee cup and <laughs> cigarettes. No, um, of course, we had these moments where we really had some breaks of communication, which was not only because of electricity breaking down, no telephone connections or internet, but also because, of course, the entire situation in Syria affected Mudar and all the other people around him. So there were really phases that, yeah, where it was a bit more difficult. Or, or, I mean, I was more worried or sad, you know, it was not really that this was a problem. I mean, it was more a challenge and it was really great. But it's more a really, really positive way of working together because it was really a great gift and experience to be able to share the experience that the friends there make at the moment and to do something with it. And hopefully also for them, I mean, to have this window to something else, you know, I mean, because especially in Damascus, very many people left. So I think that was really alone most of the time. Yes, I remember him saying that um, he, he, he didn't want to leave, but a lot of people had left. Yes. So in a way, this project did give him a different kind of, I suppose, dimension on being there, but also thinking about what it was like being there. And doing something there and dealing with that subject that actually affects himself, you know. I mean, there's a lot of his own story in that, you know, but as far as I understood, he really understood it as a positive thing like, to deal with something that he has to deal with anyway, but in a more like artistic way as well, you know, or on different levels. Well, Stella, I really look forward to seeing the performance and we'll definitely put those other dates online. Thank you. Thanks very much.